All right, uh, I got another story. <clears throat> I'm actually a taxi driver in a it's little country Joe called. I, I, I thought this would look like Joe Biden. Fuck. Anyway, I'm a taxi driver in a little country called Cyprus, if you know it. It's between the Mediterranean. We get a lot of weird fucking people there, and me being the taxi driver, since it's a family business, we get a lot of weirdos at fucking night, 2 or 3 a.m. at night. This uh, group of English men, there were like five of them, and the taxi can only hold uh, five people. So I told them, where do you want to go? They told me they want to go somewhere that's really far away. And I told them, oh, all right, but we can't take you with the taxi. We're going to have to do it with the minibus, unless if somebody goes in the fucking boot. I said that as a fucking joke. They took it seriously. The shortest person of all of them. No, they weren't even fucking drunk. They took well, it fucking seriously. Listening. Close enough. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Anyway, I, the shortest one of all just fucking stands his hands at me. He's like, oh, I'll go in the fucking You're right in the short bus. <laughs> it's a sheriff, why not? They go in, all of them, and they told me to stop at a kiosk. A kiosk is where you can buy beer, fucking whatever. They buy beer and chips. The guy in the boot gets up, goes by the shit, and comes back in. The people in the kiosk just see a dude in the boot drinking beer, and they're like, what the fuck? I just fucking book it. I didn't want them to catch my number place, because if, if the police find, finds out I do shit like this, I'm done. I'm not going to work again. So I take him, and the place that the road that leads up to the uh, highway has four roundabouts. I take the first roundabout, I pass it. He tells me, dude, can you please... Fuck with him. Can you please fuck with him? I told him, sure. Second roundabout, I started skidding really aggressively. First skid, I left. They're fucking excited. I can see how fun, how much fun they had. And the dude at the back is just screaming, Let me out! Fuck! So I just take this a third roundabout. I do two skids. Fourth. Five skids. Whatever. I just wanted to fuck with him. And at some point, he starts. he stopped screaming. I'm like, is this dude alive? They check on him, they call him, and you can hear the phone answer, and he says, Oh, you fuck you, bro, I'm drinking your fucking beer and eating the chips. Fuck you. And I just drive off into the highway. The highway in Cyprus aren't, aren't that smooth, so we get a lot of bumps. So the faster you go, the more aggressive the bumps are. And you just hear him hit the boot every single time I hit a huge bump, and he's like, Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Every single time. So I drive him to where they want to go. I drop off their friends, but the dude that was in the front that told me to mess with them, mess with them comes up to the side and tells me, can you please drive around for five minutes? I told him, sure. I drive around five minutes with this dude in the boot. He thought they forgot him. He started hitting my boot, kicking it, everything. I felt like a fucking uh, kidnapper. So I go back to their friends, I open the boot, I just see a shadow pop out of there, and they're like, fuck you, dude. He gives me a 10, 10 euro tip. His friend gives me the money I'm owed, uh, plus another 20 euro tip. So I made 30 fucking euro tips just with fucking with people. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty <laughs> that's much it. Awesome.